Welcome to Sculpture Studios, a product we've used on a regular basis from a particular UK company. We're now creating pieces of sculpture for them. Most of you should recognise the logo character of Dulux Paint, the old English sheepdog. Many dogs have had the honour of being the brand's mascot over the years, starting with Dash, Digby, Gambit, King Hotspur and Amblegate to name but a few. Our creation is now going to represent Dulux at the 2016 Paint and Decoration Show at the Rico Arena in Coventry. We've been contacted by Adam Donovan from a company just around the corner from us, Promo International. They want eight Old English Sheepdogs, created a bit larger than life size, all identical except for the colours. The idea is to have all the dogs decorated with a different shade of Dulux paint and to be dotted around the exhibition area. We begin by creating one master pattern from polystyrene, starting out with a very rough cutout from a block and taking the edges off to start honing down on the shape. Once we have the overall size and the form blocked out, we add a layer of clay on the surface that's thick enough to carve the fur detail. Unlike one of our previous dog projects where we created Tiny the Giant Yorkshire Terrier, Tiny had a layer of faux fur adhered to the surface, but for this project the finished detail will be made in fibreglass and resin, so we're making the clay here nice and thick to allow us to carve the detail of the fur and give it a lot of depth in places. The thick clay also gives it more of that poofy bulk that Sheepdog's fur has. Once all the clay work is done, we invite the client down to the studio to have a look around and to approve the clay form. Though it's going to look different in terms of colour once the project's complete, it's good to get a client's input at this stage so that any major changes can be made to the shape before it's moulded. With everything approved, we go over with a thin layer of silicon rubber first to get into all the detail. To make sure this rubber will be strong enough not only for one cast to be made successfully, but for eight casts, we're backing this up with multiple layers of thicker and thicker rubber. This is going to be a two-part mould split straight down the middle, so we're creating a wall down the seam line where the mould will break apart into two sections. As the rubber will be taken out of its jacket multiple times, here you can see we've made rubber tabs around the edges and on various points of the middle of the silicon to help locate it into the fibreglass when it's put back in. This ensures the rubber retains the correct shape when it's being cast each time. The edges of the rubber are also bumped up in thickness, as these will be the places that it's going to be handled from most. With the walls and the tabs now in place, the rubber needs to be reinforced with glass fibre. We're going to be making this around 4 ounces thick, once again thickening the handling points around the edge. This will be nice and sturdy for laying into, and can withstand the manipulation of extracting each cast. So that the mould isn't rocking and rolling around while we're casting, we've created a wooden frame for the mould to sit comfortably in. We're grinding off any splinters or screw points and sanding the exterior of the fiberglass jacket down so the mould is nice and safe to handle. The casts are created in the same fashion as the fiberglass jacket, with a gel coat added in first for a smooth finish and 4 to 6 ounces of glass fibre on the back. Each half is laid up individually and left to set before the two moulds are joined together and then laminated from the inside, and this leaves only this neat seam line on the surface that needs to be cleaned up. Here we're adding half a baseboard on the underside, so when the dogs get to sight, the client can add weights to the inside to hold the sculpture down. Though this isn't a permanent fixing, it saves them being knocked over or people just picking them up. On to the pretty stuff now, the painting and decorating. I'm just doing a little airbrush. Got the emulsion paint, sprayed it all white first of all. Blacked out quite heavy, like this. That's all white first of all, made, made good on all the seam lines. Blacked it out, so it's really just not colour by numbers. And then I'm going to paint in the blue and then blend in the rest. And then at the very last knock ins on this one, you can see it, I'll just turn it around here. So you can see the whole thing. And then I'm going to hit it with white again on the top spots just to bring out the depth of the whole thing. So that's nice and deep, but out here it becomes the white again. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to lacquer the whole thing bring up to a real sort of blink finish so should look really nice this is just the first one this is yeah. a, almost the test sample so the client can see how it turns out and say a bit more color here or a bit more white there yeah. and then each of the other casts which are going to be done in all the other colors we've got we've got pink and orange uh, a green a yellow um, they're going to follow in the same suit 
So it should appear to be the same dog, only the hue of each one's ever so slightly different. What I want most of all is consistency, that I can get each one exactly the same. His eyes are going to have a little bit of a makeover as well, give a little glint in them and a bit of colour. Yeah, just to bring it to life a little more. Just doing some finishing touches with the airbrush. And this is the last stage. I've gone over the black and the blue, and now just dusted in with a bit more black on top just there to show up these hairs. And it's all looking very dry at the moment. But if we have a look at these ones over here, we're kind of finished. And we're going over with the 2K lacquer, and it just uh, gives it a nice hard shell. Uh, and gives it a nice bit of bling as well, so they look very, very nice. I hope the client's very pleased with them. I think they look fantastic in the Dulux colours, uh, so whoever made the choices, uh, I think they come up with a, a nice palette. Very, very good. <laughs> Now that all the dogs have been groomed up to a good finish, we invite the client down to the studio to see them all in their show-worthy state. This is the first time that Adam's approached our company with a project, and we're really glad that everything's gone smoothly. We hope everyone at Promo International and Dulux themselves are happy with the end result. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, boy. What?